What's going on guys? Adam here and this is Taylor. You'll be seeing a lot of us. I got the boat outside there and we're going to talk a little bit about the boat. It's our very first boat and uh, we're pretty excited about taking it out and sailing it. Unfortunately, we live in Tennessee so it's like the weather, the wind is not a constant thing here. So you have to catch those days just right. And uh, I've got some B-roll footage and stuff that I'm going to roll in, some pictures of stuff the day that we brought it home, very first time we got it set up. But I'm going to give you a little bit of background about me and what kind of got me into sailing. Uh, about 13 years ago, we went to a place called Anastasia Island in, Island in Florida. It's called Saint, you know, down around St. Augustine area. And we had rented a Hobie Cat and... You know, we, we took it out sailing, me, my wife, and her sister, and her boyfriend at the time. And we went out on it, and it just kind of got me hooked. And it's something I always have looked into and, you know, kind of fantasized about actually being able to do it. And, uh, you know, it's not the fact that it costs a ton of money to get into, because it really doesn't, because we got a super good deal on this boat. And the boat that we got is called a Hunter, Hunter 146, is who made the boat. And we named it, what did we name it, Taylor? Oh, we named it Moana. We named it Moana. She named it Moana. So, Moana is a 14 foot long uh, dinghy sailboat. It's got a jib, uh, it's got a mainsail, you know, proper mass, everything. It's a great boat to get to learn on. Uh, probably the ideal boat that I would like to get would be a 22 to 24 foot long. Uh, maybe like a Catalina 22 or a O'Day, uh, I think a 23, I think 23 or 24 foot. It still needs to be trailerable, but right now we're learning. We haven't, we've had this boat out three times and uh, all three times that we've had the boat out, we haven't been able to stay out no longer than maybe, you know, an, a couple hours because either, you know, the wind wasn't sustainable and it didn't really blow consistent we just had small gusts or that last time Taylor and I went out on it uh, a storm blew in on us so we had to we had to come back in because I didn't want to have her out there or whatever but Taylor's learning and she's learning good uh, you know it's all 100% self-taught I'm by watching videos there's a lot of helpful videos out there to help you learn rigging and you know the the lingo and things like that so but we're all going to learn together and uh you know I'll hopefully the end goal would be to have a sailboat to be able to sail the intercoastals of florida that would be ideal so uh but yeah the boat is uh again it's a 14 foot uh actually 14.6 foot 14 and a half foot hunter 146 uh the sails were in excellent condition. All the rigging was in really good shape. Uh, just everything needed to be cleaned up. The boat had been sitting for a long time. It even came with the uh, it even came with the boat cover. Still has the factory boat cover to it, which is pretty impressive. I got a really good deal on the boat, but apparently the problem with these boats is the bottom of the boat is fiberglass. The top of the boat is this like plastic cap on there, and I'm guessing either the heat, the sun, or whatever gets to it, or maybe it's the cold, I'm not real sure, but it causes this cracking in the floor. And ultimately, I think that's why the people that owed it before us sold it to us for $400. So for 400 bucks, literally the only thing I've done is pressure wash this thing from top to bottom, front to back, all the rigging got cleaned up. Even all the rope and everything is in really good shape. So. And uh, what's been your experience? Um, Have you enjoyed it? Yes. You've enjoyed it? She's really taken to sailing. Now, uh, I have another daughter and my wife, not so much. They're not really into it that much. My wife gets seasick. I think if we could get her some uh, Drenamine or something like that, maybe she would go out more often with us. And uh, we probably will try that in the future. But right now, we're still learning me and Taylor go out together and uh, you know it's a learning curve right now I'm currently trying to set up a boom tent build a boom tent because I've been watching a lot of guys that are basically based out of Australia and uh, you know this that's kind of something they do and I, I it really interests me a lot to be able to go do it so 
I don't know if we'll be doing it a lot together. I, she's more than welcome to go if she would like to. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, again, I'll roll in some pictures and some video and stuff where we've had it out. And, uh, yeah, would you like to add anything to that? Um, main cell fell on me. Oh, she did drop, she dropped the mast. It wasn't the main sail. Oh. She dropped the mast because, you know, where it goes in the, I can't remember the name of that right there, but it's like a little socket, a little hinge that where the, the mast can get raised up. I had her holding it while I tried to pull down the forestay, and uh, yeah, I, it, it got dropped on her. <laughs> uh. Luckily enough, it's it's aluminum and it's super light, so it didn't it didn't hurt anybody. I just told her to let it go, but uh, nothing got hurt. She didn't get hurt really. Uh, you know, it didn't it didn't hurt anything on the boat. So, but now I'm. I've rigged something up to where I can pull it up by myself and put it down by myself, and it makes the rigging a lot easier. Setup and tear down is a lot easier. And the thing about it is, doing this, what drives me nuts right now for the last three times that we've went out, is we've only been out maybe a couple hours at a time, and it's like, that's a lot of work to do just to go out for an hour or two. Uh, really, you kind of need to make a day of it or do an overnight trip or something. But anyways, guys, this is our very first video. It's kind of our little test run with it. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Right now I'm currently working on the boom tent and I'll go over that in a separate video with you guys. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just do a tarp um, and, and go from there with that. So, but anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe and see you in the next one.